Hi, I'm Rona, presenting A Crisis in the Making, Wikipedia Documents the Opioid Epidemic. This is our new and yet unpublished research, and I'm really excited to hear your feedback on this. We all know that encyclopedias serve to organize knowledge, but it's also true that the way that they do so is a reflection of their time. So take these two extreme examples, Encyclopedia of the Enlightenment Era and Modern Day Wikipedia. Each shows very different pictures of their respectively very different cultures, technologies, and worldview. Just think about the role experts' opinion play versus crowdsourcing of knowledge, exclusive versus open nature, print versus digitalized, and so on. Through this prism, my colleagues and I have been studying Wikipedia and in fact establishing it as a tool and a primary source to track historical and societal processes. Our methods were initially developed to map how scientific research fields are represented over time on Wikipedia, like circadian clocks. We then scale this work on additional case studies that also have social or political significance like COVID, climate change, and uh, CRISPR gene editing, which I highlight here because it features a methodology in detail, which I don't have time to do now, so check it out. And we're currently expanding and deploying our methods on a new case study, the opioid epidemic. The opioid epidemic or opioid crisis relates to the widespread use, addiction, and overdose death relating to opioids. Now, this map of opioid-related death show it primarily hit the U.S., but it's definitely a global concern and a truly devastating public health emergency. Its roots can be traced back to the 1990s with overprescription of opioid painkillers. Now, only in 2011 did the U.S. government declare it an actual epidemic. And still today, misuse, addiction, and death continue to climb, especially with the introduction of synthetic opioids. And we wanted to ask, how did we get here, and how did it play out on Wikipedia? And we think Wikipedia offers a unique view and an important tool to examine the trajectory of the epidemic, its public perception, and the science behind it. So where do we look? To investigate this, we first use a specially built corpus builder, you can find it here, and we identified over 200 Wikipedia articles which have significantly related, related knowledge to opioids. Now these serve as a research corpus and we also scrap their text and their metadata. So here you can see all the articles based on their date of birth and for example you can see how opioid opened in 2004 and the opioid epidemic and opioid epidemic in the US opened in, 2000, in 2019 and 2017 respectively. And when we looked at this timeline, we thought something was off. Why was opioid epidemic open so late, right? And as I just mentioned, the US government officially declared this an epidemic in, back in 2011, which is also, also arguably quite late to the game here. So we started to see this belated coverage, which is far different dynamics from what we saw for COVID or even climate change. So the article creation saw this land, but is also evident within the article's edit history. So we said opioid was open in 2004, but it mentions the term crisis or epidemic only in 2014. Now, why is this a big deal? If someone is in pain, is prescribed a painkiller, where do they read about what it is? Naturally, they go to Wikipedia. And as they do that, can you consider that they are unaware that there is an addiction crisis with this drug? By the way, studies show that even medical professionals use Wikipedia, so you can imagine the scale and the effects of missing or misinformation in these articles. And it's not just opioid. So for the entire corpus, here you can see a histogram of the different articles when each of them mentioned the epidemic. So most of them didn't. <laughs> they didn't mention this large bra here. And those that did are also quite late, around 2017 and onward. So this is our first conclusion, coverage of the opioid crisis was belated. Using the view history, we also analyze many of the article's content, their current text, but also their past versions, and we examine thousands of their edits for over 20 years. So now a short dive into the edit history of opioid epidemic in the USA regarding treatment for opioid addiction, so this section here. Now the treatment section existed only from 2016, but it was in fact very revealing. We observed how, much like in real life, treatment discussions were becoming more and more focused on drug-based approaches. So you can see it here based on the frequency of other behavioral or medication treatments, but it was also reflected in other metrics that I don't show now. And indeed, 
Even within the drugs, we noticed a shift in terminology from explicit terms like methadone maintenance treatment to more vague terms like medication assistant treatment. Now, MAT is commonly used in modern day discussions, but it in fact conceals the actual continued use of opioids, such as methadone, labeling them as medication instead. Now, we also see this trend elsewhere, such as Google Ngram, just to quickly highlight the trend here. Okay, much more to say about this. I showed you only very initial findings, but we already begin to see how Wikipedia reflected many of the issues that were at the heart of the opioid crisis and can help us track what I'm sure you'll all agree are very concerning trajectories. This is work in progress. I'll be happy to hear from you. Uh, now for acknowledgements. First and foremost, Omer Ben Jacob, who just became a father this week. Omer is a journalist focused on Wikipedia and cyber disinformation, and we developed together this view of Wikipedia as a historiographical tool. We worked together for almost a decade. Tal Rauchberger is a researcher focused on opioid use in pain management, um, and he is also our expert on this uh, topic here. I'd like to thank funding and our hosts, universities, and many others who have helped along the way. Uh, thanks, Wikipedia Workshop, for another outstanding meeting, and thank you for your attention.